we think we can get this way of life, we, I have always hoped that I could get it by understanding something new, and that would change everything. I'll have a moment in which I dedicate myself, and from that point on, I'll be joyful. That is not the way it has worked for me. Jim has an understanding that for people like me, we need a structured time period, like any apprentice to a skilled trade. We need to hit that, and we need to, we need to put effort into it, and a period of time to, testing it against real life. So that's one of the geniuses of Jim's book for me. Jim uses the phrase, uh, cucumber doesn't become a pickle overnight. I should be wearing a pickle t-shirt or something because that is so true. I'm such a slow learner. I need pickling in this good, true teaching. I just need it. I can't do it overnight, and I think a lot of people are like me. Well, when I say a guy like me, I'm referring, first of all, not to my particular age, or I'm 61 years old, I'm, I work out at a college, I'm divorced, no kids. But what I was really for, referring to at first is just people that have struggled, people very sincere about trying to make Christianity work in their lives, but it just didn't work. And so that's, that's what I mean by, uh, by a guy like me. And I think there's a lot of guys, I met him. I met them all over the place, I mean, as far as guys like me, who have done the same thing, really tried, and it just didn't work in the real world. I told Jim that, and he, he put this in one of his books, so I'm famous. Um, he'll probably edit it out after he hears me say that, but uh, one thing I told him is I'll be sitting at my kitchen table, which is my favorite part of my house, looking out my window with my faithful dog and cat at my side, and I'll, I'll experience this emotion, and I'll, I'll think, what? What's that? I'm not familiar with this emotion. What it'll be is joy. It'll be just like, it sneaks up on me. You know, you can't, you can't seek out joy and grab it. It, it sneaks up on you.